Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Sigma America's Virtual Summit. I'm Benji Cherniak. Many of you may know me formerly as Managing Director of uh, Donbass Sports, now Principal of Avenue H Capital, primarily investing and advising to companies in the iGaming space. And I'm joined here by Nick Salsky, who uh, many of you may know from his days at Monkey Knife Fight, and you certainly would now know as the Chief uh, Operating Officer of, uh, or the Chief Commercial Officer, rather, of uh, Points Bet Canada. Nick, welcome. Great to be here with you. Hey, Benji. It's my pleasure, man. It's great to see you. You too. And uh, we're going to be discussing brand building in the iGaming space for, for operators. And obviously, this is an area near and dear to your hearts. And maybe we'll back up a little bit to the monkey knife fight journey. And, you know, obviously, that was an interesting one for you and established you as somewhat of an expert in, in, in building a brand within the gaming space. So, you know, for you, when you look at that journey, what was the key to the success with with MKF and what learnings do you take from that as you look at the path ahead, the exciting path ahead with, with points bets within Canada? That's a good question. And I like how you framed it as a somewhat expert because I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah, I mean, the monkey knife fight journey was, uh, was really unique. And I think that ultimately the biggest, the biggest thing that I learned is, is especially when you're trying to build a brand in the hyper-competitive gaming space, you know, first and foremost, you really need to figure out what is your key differentiator. Is it product? Is it brand? Um, you know, ideally, uh, it's a mixture of the both. Um, and, and ultimately, for Monkey Knife Fight, what um, I also learned was you can't be scared. You can't be scared to take risks. You can't be scared to make mistakes. We call the company Monkey Knife Fight. Yes, the product was a differentiated approach to the daily fantasy sports simplifying it for the casual sports fan but ultimately i believe that monkey knife fight broke through because we created a brand that was very authentic and unique and different and had a genuine voice and i think that's something that especially in the very noisy north american iGaming market right now operators really need to focus on and trying to figure out what that distinct brand voice is going to be and when we talk about that, Nick, and what the operators want to focus on today, it brings us to present day. And, and look, points bet prior to your joining them or quite recently, you've done a fantastic job already in, in coming into the U.S. As, as initially an unknown entity in the U.S. and establishing a strong brand. And, uh, you know, obviously not just in the U.S., but previously in Australia. So from your perspective, how do you carry that torch and create a uniquely localized Canadian kind of experience for your customers? And what is the overlap with the rest of your organization within that journey? Well, I mean, there's two very important uh, things to, to touch on here. And, and quite frankly, there's are two of the reasons why I was so excited about joining the PointsBet family. You know, first and foremost, PointsBet has built their, our own technology stack. So we control our, we control our platform um, entirely, which allows us to actually customize that platform for the specific market that we're going to be launching in. So from a points bet Canada perspective, we're able to really look at this market because it is extraordinarily unique from, from the US, from Australia, and from the rest of the world. And we can actually take what we understand about the Canadian market and apply it to how our product is going to unfold. But primarily for, for me and what I get to selfishly take advantage of is the best in class expertise of the operators who built PointsBet in Australia and then launched PointsBet in the USA. So we're able to really take the learnings directly from how that brand launched into a market that um, wasn't aware of the PointsBet brand prior to their launch. And when you look at what we're trying to accomplish in Canada, I would argue that our challenge is even greater because the amount of gray market operators that have significant brand and have significant database in this country, um, what that does is it gives us an even greater challenge. Um, and we are, we are going to, we are a challenger brand. And so ultimately what, what I get to do is take advantage of the best in class technology and the expertise of the Australian and US team members and now our, our European team members through the Bannock Technologies acquisition and I can really lean on them to, to get them to assist in our, our thinking about how we're going to launch our brand up here. 
makes sense. And real quickly, Nick, you know, to, to, to try and wrap this up, it's obviously a competitive market, uh, iGaming and sports betting, both north and south of the Canadian border. And, you know, how do you find the right balance of spend to ensure appropriate ROI? It's not like you're going to outspend your competitors and where are those dollars best invested? Well, I mean, I think, it, I think first and foremost, an oper operator needs to figure out what is your initial goal, right? Is your initial goal to, uh, to create, um, you know, first time betters? Is your initial goal to, to gain unaided awareness in a longer term strategy? So I, I don't think there's, there's definitely not a one size fits all um, answer for how you want to really look at building and, and spending your marketing and sponsorship dollar. I think from a points bet Canada perspective, our goal is to figure out authentic and genuine ways to really build that brand. Um, and I think that the return of investment that we're looking at is definitely over a, a marathon and not a, not a sprint, if you know what I mean. Yeah, look, Nick, fantastic insights as always. Great catching up. And to all of you out here, enjoy the rest of uh, the summit.